The Australian Government Summer School for Teachers of Mathematics conducted at Armidale in January 2008 it was attended by over 200 teachers from across Australia. Professor John Geek, Professor of Education at the Westminster Institute of Education, Oxford Brookes University, provided a presentation on diversity uh, from our diversity stream on gifted and talented. John, I'm just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about what the focus of your presentation was. Okay, Russell, the, the main theme of the presentation was that the brains of gifted people, whether children or otherwise, are both qualitatively and quantitatively different from average brains, if you will. Accepting there's enormous variation and diversity in what we could possibly mean by an average brain. But a couple of the characteristics of gifted brains are a greater capacity for interconnectivity uh, in function, uh, that is transferring information around the various parts of the brain, and that this seems to be more efficaciously coordinated by the executive function, which uh, we're pretty sure is mostly coordinated by the frontal parts of the brain. Right. So in terms of the relevance of the um, presentation to contemporary mathematics teaching, could you outline that for us, please? Well, it suggests that uh, these uh, people as children will have more precocious cognitive development and so teachers can feel confident about presenting these children with mathematics that would be above age, that would be more conceptually challenging, mm -hmm. certainly more abstract, uh, involving the interconnection between different areas of mathematics on particular problems, um, and certainly uh, problems of higher challenge. Right. So, for the participants, uh, what, what are the sort of key messages and issues that you would like to address uh, for them to take away? Okay, well, I guess the take-home message uh, was that the gifted children can't help having the brains they have. <laughs> and therefore, the learning needs that arise from having brains such as they have and thinking uh, such as these brains support um, are different and they need to be met, just like the learning needs of any particular group of kids uh, need to be met. Um, the second point is, interestingly, of course, these kids' brains don't stop being gifted brains at 3.30 when they leave the school mm. gate. Yes. Uh, they've got these brains for life 24-7. Um, and that has implications, particularly in terms of their socialising in the world. Now, that has implications back at the school level, because whereas classroom teachers can provide more of the cognitive challenge, so we need whole school or systemic approaches to possibly place these kids in above age classes with acceleration, enable them to sit for exams at earlier ages, things like this, mm -hmm. and to group with other gifted kids because that's how they'll be supported best uh, in their social predispositions. Right. So the thing that comes across so often in the presentations that we're hearing at the summer school is just the complexity of the environment in which teachers have to operate. And I think the, the issues that are being addressed are, are very important to the learning of students. I'm just wondering in terms of the ideas that teachers might actually be able to easily take back to their classroom context. Can you just outline some key things that might be practicable for the teachers to apply? Well, in my talk I was concentrating uh, really on some approaches that might be maximally inclusive of mm. these children. Some of them, interestingly, don't show their mathematical prowess in response to the normal mathematics curriculum. Yeah. It is simply so under-challenging mm. <laughs> that they don't uh, respond. Um, and so my suggestion, which I've used in, in classrooms too, of kids who you suspect may be um, of this sort of inclination, is to ask the question, would you like to do something harder? or to make it inclusive of the class, who would like to do something harder? Who would like more challenge? Who would like to do work of several years above? The important caveat, of course, is, and if you don't like it, doesn't suit you, no problem, yes. no penalty. And the second thing is, I think, um, having perhaps selected some of these uh, kids this way or by other more conventional ways, um, we're never too sure where the upper limits, if there are upper limits, might be. And so rather than the approach of, well, can you get over this particular hurdle, which is sort of the standardised testing 
you know, not child left behind kind of approach. Yes. Rather with these kids, you need that, how high can you go? Mm. Let's start pushing. You can do that problem, let's do something harder. You can do year 11 work. What about this from year 12 into, high, into university and so on? Right. Oh, that's great. Now, I guess there's a lot of information becoming available to the participants and they'll be able to look at a lot of resource material on the website for the summer school. Are there other areas where they might find resources that can be uh, used to investigate further the issues that you've been addressing? Um, yes, there are. There's plenty of other um, areas. Uh, in Australia, of course, the, each of the states have a gifted and talented association and there's a national one. Mm. And their websites, um, I know the New South Wales one, has a lot of links that are quite specific to other areas where you can, yes. for example, download problems or get into mm -hmm. online uh, mathematics clubs and, and these sorts of mm -hmm. things. Uh, so they're worth uh, following. Um, obviously, uh, getting onto the home page of some of the presenters here and so on, again, we'll get into links and perhaps more of the research and so on. And then I can put in a plug for the, uh, the book I'm writing, right. The Brain at the School. Uh, which will certainly talk about um, dealing with the learning needs of gifted children in uh, regular schools and classrooms. Fine. Well, I think the, the challenge is there for the teachers and there's obviously uh, a lot of opportunity to provide extension to gifted and talented uh, students and to ensure that they have a, a very stimulating environment. Mm. Thank you very much for your information today. Thanks, Russell.